To obtain good quality when doing collision repairs on today's vehicles, an accurate measuring system is simply a must. This video presents the Carolina Mechanical Measuring System. The mechanical measuring system is one of the important components in the total Carolina Universal Collision Repair System for passenger cars and light commercials. The measuring system is used for damage assessment and to control the repair during pulling and after the body repair. It's possible to measure both underbody and upper body with the system. The purpose is to get a good overview of the extent of damage, to secure the repair quality and restore the car body to the car manufacturer's specifications. One very essential part in the measuring system is the Caroliner easy to read data sheet. The data sheet binders cover nearly all car models for your market. Information about car models and data sheets are updated four times a year against an annual fee. Measuring of new car models is performed by Carolina personnel worldwide, most of the time in cooperation with the car manufacturers. When all measurements have been collected and controlled, the data sheets are produced in a CAD computer system. We'll now look at the main components in the mechanical measuring system. This is the tool wagon for various types of measuring equipment. Adapters and studs. Height measuring scales. Measuring tubes. Gauge tool for width measurement. Measuring slides. One number one measuring slide. Range of measurement 500 to 800 millimeters width. Three number two measuring slides. Range of measurement 800 to 1400 millimeters width. Measuring bridge, available in four and five meter lengths. The new M910 HMP device for measuring McPherson strut towers and other high measuring points. This is the symmetrical measuring device M920 for the upper body. For symmetrical quick check on upper body, the telescopic stick M930. Before putting the equipment to use, always read the instruction manuals and safety warnings. Close the drawer and doors before moving the tool wagon. We'll shortly look at how to carry out a centering and measuring with the measuring system shown. However, there's one important step that must always precede the setup and measuring. You must find the correct data sheet from your data sheet binders. To do this, you first identify the vehicle and then consult the checkup list where the correct data sheet for the car model is listed. Identify the car. Here, a Volvo 850. Information about car models and data sheet numbers is updated four times a year. The main document, the checkup list index, is updated first quarter yearly and then supplemented by the complement for checkup list three times per year. Always start to look in the complement for checkup list for the latest information. If you can't find the vehicle model there, look in the main document, checkup list index. Look for the car manufacturer on page 3, in this case Volvo. We find Volvo on page 71. On the heading line you read car model. Year is model year. NO is data sheet number. Latest issue is the issue date on the data sheet and recommended accessories are for special chassis clamps and measuring parts. Search for 850. FWD is front wheel drive. Sedan, station wagon, four-door, a body style. 1992 is the year of production start. 22015 is the data sheet number. 1994, 08 is the latest issue date. We now have the right data sheet for our Volvo 850. Let us explain the layout on Carolina data sheet and how to read them. On the heading line you read car manufacturer. Data sheet number and issue date. The A and B measurement, which is the length in millimeters from the center line of the rear axle to the center line of chassis clamp positions. Side view, left side. Vehicle viewed from above. Explanatory drawings for measuring parts. Circle is assembled. Square is dismantled. Measuring point number. Height measuring tube. 
type of measuring adapter. Circle is assembled, square is dismantled. Adapter in vertical position. Adapter in horizontal position. Measuring stud 25 millimeters. 35 millimeters. 60 millimeters. Angle stud. Height dimension. Height dimension with engine removed. Zero point length measuring. Explanatory drawing for zero point is always shown. Length dimension for left and right side. Width dimension from the center line, left and right side. Only right side width dimension from center line. High measuring points for McPherson strut towers. Explanatory drawing with length, width and height dimension for the HMP device. The difference in layout for the old type of data sheets is viewed from above with dimensions for width and the length dimensions located on a separate line. We will now show you how to carry out centering and measuring on this minor front damage. The purpose of centering is so that the center line for the measuring system can find the center line on the undamaged part of the vehicle. Evaluate the damage and look for undamaged measuring points by comparing against the data sheet. Select two pairs of symmetrical points for centering the measuring system. These measuring points should be as far apart as possible. Place the measuring bridge on the bench under the car. Take a measuring slide that covers the width dimension given in the data sheet. In this case, we select point number 14, which is the zero point in length. Place the measuring slide on the measuring bridge under the zero point. Set the given width dimension on one side of the measuring slide and lock with the knob. Take out the measuring tubes and adapters specified in the data sheet and select measuring scales which cover the height dimensions. Place the measuring tube in the outermost hole of the measuring slide and lock with the stop screw. Raise the measuring scale with the adapter against the measuring point and lock with the knob. Repeat the procedure on the opposite side of the measuring slide. Read the width dimension and adjust if necessary to obtain the same measurements on both sides. Lock the measuring slide against the bridge from one side only. Move the zero point on the length measuring scale against the measuring slide as shown. Continue with the next undamaged centering point. In this case, number 10 is selected. Place the measuring slide on the measuring bridge. Take the specified measuring parts and place the measuring tubes in the outermost hole of the measuring slide and lock with the stop screws. Move the measuring slide to the recommended length value. The reading of the length value must be on the same side of the measuring slide as the zero points slide. Set the given width dimension on one side of the measuring slide and lock with the knob. Raise the measuring scale with the adapter against the measuring point and lock with the knob. Repeat the procedure on the opposite side of the measuring slide and adjust, if necessary, the width dimension to obtain the same measurements on both sides. Lock the measuring slide from one side only. The measuring system is now centered, which indicates that the measuring bridge is lined up with the undamaged part of the vehicle's center line. Let's now go to the damaged part of the vehicle and look at the two methods which can be applied for checking measurements in the damaged area. Method number one. Place the measuring slide with the specified measuring parts on the measuring bridge 
under the selected measuring point. Raise the measuring scale with the adapter against the measuring point and lock with the knob. Compare the obtained length, width and height measurement with the measurements in the data sheet and evaluate the damage. Method number two. Place the measuring slide with the specified measuring parts on the measuring bridge and set the values to those given in the data sheet. It's now easy to evaluate the damage by comparing the position of the adapter and the position of the measuring point. This tool, the M910HMP, is intended to be used for measuring at upper body parts, for example, McPherson strut towers. Before using this measuring equipment, the standard measuring system must be centered. We're now going to set up the equipment and see how to measure. Place the cross beam on the measuring bridge with the graduated scale facing the front of the car. Move the cross beam to the recommended length value and tighten the locking screws. Lock the four cross beam supports against the bench frame. Mount the measuring pillars on both sides. L is left side, R is right side. Tighten the knobs. Adjust the angle clamps for the measuring bar to the MCP position, in the highest position for Mark V and bench rack, in the lower position for Mark IV and older versions. Place the measuring bar in the angle clamps with the graduated scale facing the front of the car. Fit the measuring bar to the adjust line position and tighten the knobs on both sides. Set the width dimension to that given in the data sheet and lock the knob. Place in position the measuring adapter specified in the data sheet and lock with the stop screw. Slide the stud down towards the measuring point to assess the damage by observing the deviation between the adapter and the measuring point. Reading of height dimension is on the top of the holder. This part of the video has given you basic information about the Carolina mechanical measuring system, concerning measuring components and how to carry out centering and measuring. To avoid damage, always release the measuring system in the damaged area during pulling and alignment work. For more information, consult Carolina's instruction manuals.